Matthew 18, 20, Jesus says, For where two or three come together in my name, there am I with you. This is another example of the power of praying together. One person can certainly pray alone, but when we have the confirmation and affirmation in a group of two or three or even more, God's Spirit can act more powerfully. This verse also reminds us that we are to pray and to wait for the Spirit's affirmation. Have you ever prayed with others and felt that the Spirit is bringing you together? It is amazing to be in a group of praying people and watch peace settle on them. And suddenly, a problem that a few moments before that seemed impossible to solve is solved through the Spirit. When we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, our own desires fall away and our hearts only yearn after God's better desires for us. God's will literally becomes our own. With whom do you pray? And I don't mean silently, but verbally voicing our praise, our joys, our thanks, our hurts, our anger, our concerns. We Christians do not do Christian living alone. We need each other. Many Christians have never prayed out loud with another. If that's you, I encourage you to ask someone that you trust to help you and to give you courage to start speaking out loud, praying with God. It's a gift that Jesus gives us, and he also sends the Holy Spirit to encourage us. Friends, pray out loud with someone today.